Relation Chapter 1 The relation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass a, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant Ion, who bear record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. I on to the Suan churches in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace, from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the Suan spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, Bunto him that lewd verses, and washed verses from our sins in his own blood, and hath made verses kings and priests Bunto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for you and your, Amen. Behold he cometh with clouds, and Uri I shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, you and so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, Ion, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God, and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it vunto the Suan churches which are in Asia, vunto Ephesus, and vunto Smyrna, and vunto Pergamus, and vunto Thyatira, and vunto Sardis, and Philadelphia, and vunto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw Suan golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the Suan candlesticks, one like Vunto the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like Vunto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand suan stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp to edged sword and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Vunto me, fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that lueth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive for your mer, amen, and how the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the Suan stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the Suan golden candlesticks. The Suan stars are the angels of the Suan churches, and the Suan candlesticks which thou sawest are the Suan churches. Chapter 2 Vunto the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, These things saith he that holdeth the Suan stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the Suan golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are yule, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Northless, I house somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first loo. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remow thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that hour cometh will I do to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And Vunto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead, and is ail you. I know thy works, 
and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the duel shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall how tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will do thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that your cometh shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamus, write, These things saith he, which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, you in where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. You in in those dyes, wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that hour cometh will I do to eat of the hidden manna, and will do him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written which no man now hath sawing he that receiveth it. And Vunto, the angel of the church in Thyatira, write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like Vunto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and sruce, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Isabel, which killeth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my Saruans to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gaw her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will juvanto Uri one of you according to your works. But funto you I say, and vunto the rest in Thyatira, as many as how not this doctrine, and which how not know in the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye how already, hold fast till I come. And he that hour cometh, and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I do power o'er the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of Iran, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shears, you in as I received of my father, and I will do him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Chapter 3 And Vunto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the suan spirits of God, and the suan stars, I know thy works that thou hast a name that thou liest, and art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore, how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names you in in Sardis, which how not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that our cometh, the same shall clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, 
but I will confess his name before my Father, and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of God, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open dory, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie, behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I hallowed thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, him that you are cometh. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of home from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and how need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thy salu, that thou mayest see. As many as I loo, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the dory, and knock, if any man hear my voice, and open the dory, I will come into him, and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that hour cometh, Will I grant to sit with me in my throne, you in as I also our came, and am set down with my father in his throne? He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches.